Good morning and welcome to Heartland Out There Living. This morning we're going to be doing a real quick video. And for you guys that have came over from our other channel, on our other channel we used to do what we'd call show and tell Mondays. And basically it would be a product. And, and the other channel was dual sport related and stuff like that. So it might be a, something new for the bike or whatever else. I think we've done something for, even for the Jeep. But I'm going to start doing that here on this channel because it's kind of a good way to expose some of the stuff that we'll be using and or expose people to some stuff and I know when I was a kid that was pretty much the only school day I looked forward to was uh, show and tell and I think back then it was Fridays but we're doing it as show and tell Mondays as an adult so kind of mixing it up since we've grown up a little bit and notice I said just a little bit so today's video we're going to be doing a show and tell it's going to be on the pony vice which is on the end of our bench so let's get to the video Good morning and thanks for tuning in to Heartland Outdoor Living. Along with the Show and Tell Monday, we're going to be doing the drawing. We actually hit our 1,600 subscribers, so I'm really, really excited about that. But as you guys have noticed, we do have the workbench in front of us, and we actually had this built prior to me injuring myself. And part of the reason that we were building the workbench is we're wanting to build a bow this year. Um, I have full faith that the thumb will heal up and we're going to be able to shoot before the year's out. And I have full faith that we'll be building at least a few bows. That's on the game plan for this year. But part of gathering up our tools for doing the bow build is I've been putting it off for a long time and I've been wanting a workbench. So we got the workbench built prior to me messing up my thumb. And this is, it's uh, Nicholson style is kind of what it's based on. And our bench that we built is seven foot long two foot wide and then we also got all the three quarter inch holes that are on the apron on the outside the inside and down the middle and part of the reason that we wanted them down the middle is we knew when we were building this bench that we was going to end up putting an end vise down on the end and it this the one we chose is actually made by Pony Pony Jorgensen and it's the orange one down here and we'll zoom in and I'll kind of show you some of the stuff and the features on this vise but we've got the center marked a bunch of holes all the way down here so what that does is it just makes it a lot easier if we want to clamp something long we can use the end vise down there and like I say we've got holes drilled pretty much every six inches all the way down the center that lines up with the catch that's on this vise and again, I'll zoom in on that and show you guys because I don't even know for sure if you can see the vise on the frame right now. But we <clears throat> really, really like the vise and, and it's come in handy especially now that I'm down to one hand. So the vise is, is great. They call this a medium duty workbench vise. It's seven inches wide. It opens up nine inches and then it's got a you can put a piece pretty much that's three inches all the way from the from the bottom bars to the top is three inches. So it'll hold a pretty good sized piece of wood. And for us, we were using it to build our toolbox that, which was actually part of how I ended up getting injured, but that thing works great. Now again, it's a medium vise. It's not gonna do heavy duty chores, but it's done all the little projects. If, if you're gonna be doing small stuff like uh, toolboxes, tool totes, little little crafts, maybe even picture frames, small craft stuff. It's going to handle all your needs with really, really well. Um, you can use it to clamp up your work to saw. You can use it to clamp up your work to do the mortise tenon, do the planing. We've actually cut down some boards prior to my injury and actually planed off a bunch with the bigger planes like the number five, five and a half, the fours for smoothing it out. And I can't really operate the big plane right now. Under doctor's orders, I can't use this arm at all. So again, guys, that's uh, our show and tell Monday. And it's the Pony Jorgensen vise. And with any luck, we're gonna end up with a bigger vise. They make a bigger one and it's Jorgensen. And I wanna say it's, uh, I was telling my wife about it the other day. It's. Uh, I don't know, it's like 190 something on on Amazon and it's it's much larger. It's a heavy duty vise. It's a 10 inch vise on the width 
and then I want to say it opens up 12 inches. So if I could get it mounted on this other side, that would be perfect for the bow staves when we bring them in and we're using it to rough out the bow staves. I think it's going to be a pretty awesome deal. And luckily for us, it's on sale for like $159 or $150, something like that. It's on sale on Amazon right now. So we may end up going ahead and buying that vise for the side. The, the problem I'm having is depending on how many of the how-to videos and how much we do how-to wise with the YouTube channel, I may end up putting the vise on this side instead of that side. Um, it'll be easier for us to film that way with the, and then I'm going to try to get some more lights in here so that it's not so dark over in that corner. So anyhow, that's uh, that's the show and tell Monday. It's good. We're just going to keep this short and sweet. Show and tell Monday, the Pony Jorgensen. Like I say, I'll put a link down below. You can buy that on Amazon. If if you guys do click the link down below, it's an Amazon affiliate link. So it's it's we're gonna get a nickel or something. I mean, it's not like they pay anything huge, but I feel like I need to be fair that if you click any of the links down below, they're gonna do a little kickback to us. You guys won't see the difference on the price. But again, the vice is really cool. We we don't have an installed video on the vice. I'm just showing you the vice and kind of telling you the thing's gonna work great again like I say it's a medium use vice I wouldn't put um, an extreme amount of weight on it I don't even know what the weight bearing is on it I, I didn't buy that with the intention of thinking I'm gonna be putting a hundred pound log on that thing and trying to carve on it again it's gonna be for the smaller stuff we've kind of gone through the specs and so far I mean it's working flawless it, it was a real easy install and, and it's it's a lifesaver you're in the shop it's so much safer if you have a place that you can secure your work and it not slip or slide around on you and trust me the slipping and sliding can be costly so it's it's going to be a, a great asset to the our bow builds when we start getting to them and then also the little stuff that we do we do more than just i've been doing we working forever so the bow builds is just going to be something new for the channel but again guys we appreciate your likes comments and, oh wait a minute we need, <laughs> wait a minute, we need to do the drawing for the 1600 subscribers. So I will, uh, man, I totally forgot to bring the, I've got a bowl with all the names in it. So we need to. feel like I should say thanks, but I'm not sure. Ah, either way, so we got the bowl out here. We're gonna go ahead and do the drawing, so let's get to it. Again, I'm gonna do a close-up of this, but this is gonna be what we're giving away and we kind of up the ante a little bit, because initially we were just giving away the buzzing wax for the cast iron, and we've got some videos of that. If you guys haven't checked them out, be sure to check them out. And then since we did our how-to video on this skillet handle, and it's how to make your own leather uh, leather handle for the skillet and it keeps you from burning your hand. We're going to throw one of them in and then also if you guys notice the drink on the table it's got a nice little coaster that I've made. So this one has buffalo hide on the back and then it's the hair hide on the top. We're going to go ahead and throw that in too. Again this is for the 1600 subscriber giveaway. There were, several, <clears throat> there were several chances for people to win. You could have entered by number one was you got to be a subscriber. Number two, you got to comment below. And that was on a couple of different videos if you watched them because I don't always announce it, but there was some hidden in some other videos. But we asked you to go over and check out Buzzy Wax. We also, that gives you another entry. If you followed us on Instagram, both of our channels, the Heartland Weatherworks and the Heartland Outdoor and that gave you a couple more chances so we got a ton of chances to win and they're all inside this bowl and if you guys look at this this is a bowl that I turned a long time ago and I'm still waiting on it to dry I haven't finished it out yet but it's uh, black balling so it's kind of fun so we're gonna be doing the drawing out of the bowl and let's get to it right now we'll do this right here is gonna be who's our minute on the mountain Minute on the Mountain, you've won the giveaway for the 1600 subscriber giveaway. So whenever you have time, contact us. Probably the easiest way you can go to 
Uh, let's see here, Heartland Leatherworks at yahoo.com. Send us an email there or go to our website, heartlandleatherworks.com and click on contact us. Send us your, your name and your address and we will get this shipped out to you tomorrow. Today's Monday, so it should ship out probably Tuesday or Wednesday. We'll be able to, I think, Tuesday out of the doctor's appointment, so we'll be out running around in the doctor's appointment right by the post office, so I can drop this in the post office for you if we can get your info in time. So again, congrats to Minute on the Mountain. Thank each and every one of you for watch, taking the time to watch this video. Again, we, we love our vice, and we are so happy and proud to be up to 1,600 subscribers. It won't be long. We'll be doing a really cool giveaway for the 2,000 subscribers for sure. I've already got some stuff in mind for that, and hopefully I'll be healed up by then. And uh, if not, that means we've gained another 400 subscribers way before I can get my hand healed up, and I'd be okay with that too. So. Again, guys, we appreciate your likes, comments, and subscribes. We appreciate each and every one of you, and that's part of the reason that we like doing the giveaways. It's just kind of a way for us to give back to y'all. We were gifted the Buzzy Wax, and we're gifting it to, to someone else. We're giving it to a Minute on the Mountain, and what a great giveaway. Again, we appreciate all your likes, comments, and subscribes, and may you have a blessed week.